I've had some requests for how to make a noose in the field. Um, this isn't going to be the same everywhere, but it's the basic principle strategy. Find kind of a flexible stick that works like a fishing pole. Take all these branches off of it. Be careful when you're doing this. The stick, it, the bush itself might be poisonous. Um, so you could have a bad, um, a bad day. If you can, get something that is bigger than this. Try and make sure that you leave this little nubby right here, something so when you put the rope on, or the string, that it doesn't slide past. All right, now we need to find something that's effective for string. See this, this thing is bendable. Very bendable. All right, let's find something else. All right, next ingredient over here. In a lot of places we go, they've got a uh, agave or guave, whatever they call it. Sorry. Um, sometimes I don't pronounce things the best. I know. <laughs> I was trying to do it the most rugged way possible, but we simply do not have enough light. Yep. If you don't have enough uh, time or light, then just right use there. a knife. Spikes on that side gone, not poking me no more. I've got all the spikes gone right there. You can see, no more. Keep annihilating my fingers, because I already got poked like 20 times. Now you want to bend it. So you can try and get the, sh the shell, thread this thing. Some of these threads in here are more usable than others. See how it's coming together with all this string? Poke myself. Here's where I'm a little bit out of my uh, expertise level. I'm not a master of tying knots. I'm not a knotologist, whatever the heck they call them. You want to tie it behind, right here, you, behind this lump, uh, this knot of wood, or else it's just gonna, it can end up sliding off. These four strings combined should be enough to hold like three, four pounds of weight. They're pretty strong. All right, you kind of tie the knot to where this thing slides through, and then you go around again right here on the top, and you tie uh, another knot right here. You just tighten it down on the first knot. How primitive this is, but you can see it does it does work. All right, let's go see if we can actually use it. Matthew, see if you can go around from the other side. We got the noose ready. Make sure the noose is big enough to actually fit. It's getting caught in spider web. Okay, here we go. You got him. This, guys, is how you noose a lizard. This material here, though, needs to dry out a bit before you can actually use it. Uh, if you don't let it dry, it's going to be sticky and it won't slide. But within half an hour, it was dry out here. He's got some really beautiful turquoise. You know, yeah. Wow! That is a true natural noose right there. Made from scratch on the spot. Yep. Here we go, Neil. You ready? Yeah. Move your hand up and down, I guess, to help. That doesn't actually hurt that bad. Okay. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. You didn't give me the bleed. Oh. Don't, don't. All right, here we go. Whoa. All right. Whoa, whoa. Okay, that was a little too quick. Alright, we let him go. Cool. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe.